and welcome back everybody to yet another episode of private purgatory now as we all always say you probably know the drill but this series would be nothing without your input so go ahead and send your wacky games uh, email is down in the description below once again i am joined by vulcan hello and uh check out his channel as well there will be another private purgatory episode going up in a few days and um Today we actually have two privates facing off against each other, so we're true to the title, true to the series, after god knows how many episodes. So this should yep. be interesting. <laughs> yeah, we're not seeing any like Brigadier Generals or anything. <laughs> any high rankers coming in to spoil the fun. Yeah, it's you're only gonna good see some bad plays. <laughs> private bashing, absolutely. Uh right off the bat, Neko, we have something very interesting happening. <laughs> Oh no, the scary double fob. <laughs> this is not a strategy that you see that often. <laughs> it's, it, all it tells me is like, we're just going to see like a lot of RT or something. <laughs> That's what yeah, I feel most like. Most likely. Or maybe yet another like strategic projection of rotary wing power. <laughs> yeah. Two Tunguskas to be used. This is some. Um... Very indecisive there. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've... About his expert tactics. <laughs> I really am not sure what that second fob is for with this start, to be honest. I like how he's starting his uh, K50... Oh, never mind. That was wrong perspective. I thought he started it over the cliff, but uh, never mind. My bad. Nope. He's going to be having that landed from the start, as yeah. you're supposed to. <laughs> meanwhile, over on the other side, yeah, we've got uh, the Vihor. Yeah, it's actually yeah looking relatively okay, which is Yeah, for a private, surprising. it looks like he knows what he's doing. <laughs> Starting his silo is over the forest as well, so you'll have them airborne as the match starts. Yep. Yep. Okay. Keeping his fob still as well. Yeah. But I'm not sure if he'll need it, but we'll see. Yeah, we will. Was the Prom S a regular mortar or that thing in the vehicle tab? I don't remember. Um I think it's a vehicle tab one. I think it has the HGM on it, doesn't it? Probably. Or does it not? We'll see. Actually, like, let me just zoom in. Yeah, it doesn't look like it does. No, it might be the mortar. Mode, yeah. That's good, he has a mortar for his uh, heavy tank, so he can smoke it off. But uh, with how his opponent's playing, I doubt he's going to really need it. <laughs> going to get 272 BU rushed. And two Tungus comes. that's an expensive opener, oh my god. <laughs> how much do those T72 BUs cost, like 190? 180. 180, And the okay. uh, Tunguska M is 100 points. Really? Yeah, yeah, it's really expensive oh for some reason. That's, that's literally like three quarters of his points just there. And then he's got the two fobs on top of that and two UAZs completely, like, it's just going to drive out completely undefended, go on a quick drive around the map. Yeah, he's got to get that early cap. <laughs> this is going to be the moment when we see, like, this uh, this Hera 2, um, HF45. Just Does that have an armament? It does. It has the rockets, yeah. doesn't it? And it has a um, 50 cal, which is uh, extremely lethal, actually, against soft targets. <laughs> Yeah, it could literally just just fly over Fox Tron and kill that, which would be quite funny to watch. Yeah, here we go. The match is starting. Um, yeah, Charlie player <laughs> kind of delayed. Is maybe AFK smoking a cigarette or taking a bathroom break? I'm not sure. Maybe he just has a really low DPI mouse. Maybe that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like scrolling across his mouse pad, like trying to get to the next click. <laughs> and away he goes, finally. Yeah, he's off. He's off. Yeah, he is. <laughs> One thing I really miss, um, like, because I've been playing Steel Division a lot, is being able to s highlight units and then just, like, press shift and see where they're actually heading because I would love to know where oh, yeah. these T72 BUs are like heading right now. And that's one of the many quality of life improvements that Steel Division has. Yeah. Starting with Pragas and Charlie, this is just textbook plays right here. I'm really impressed by Comrade Cole. At this point in the match though, like, let's just uh, be real, this is private purgatory after all. Who knows what's gonna happen? But, uh, <laughs> well, well, maybe these T72 BUs will take up a lot of attention in the mid. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and then he'll just like fall into the trap, the noob trap. <laughs> Certainly interesting playstyle out of uh, the red four player. I mean, it's just maybe he's just mind games, you know? Like, he, th they would expect the Foxtrot CV to be defended, but it's actually not. So it's just like, you know. Yeah, just... and you can see Comrade Cole playing very cautiously. He unloaded his uh, drugs prematurely. Yeah, maybe I that was he's... a misclick. 
but... They might be wary about them zooming up into this factory yeah. complex on the bottom. Well, it's a usual uh, motorized opener to just push into Fox Shot, especially with things like AMX 10, so unloading those prematurely is not a bad idea. Yeah. And the L17 just flying around early on as well. Yeah, that plane Keeping is the air cover. beast. And those BU's just <laughs> charging on through. Is there anything that can really take care of them? Yeah, the I... part of Brown C90. They can yeah, mess they them get into up range. get a yeah. side shot especially. Oh, the Vihor. The Vihor is as good as dead. <laughs> <laughs> that just got popped. Those MI35? Need to be careful though, yeah. That's gonna just surely... Oh, actually, Tunguska's, yeah, easy. Absolutely. Oh, I say that. Nah, he okay. got melted. Wow. Either those nope. Brancis, they uh, with one shot they deal three damage to those BUs, but that's a nice micro actually. He pulls them back, you know, keeps them alive. Mi twenty four K in the back as well, so he's got exceptional optics. Yep, might be able to spot those Padobranci and allow him to take them out of the distance. <laughs> yeah. Solid T seventy two BU play here, he and he's got the plus three on the conquest. <laughs> Yeah, he does. He's definitely picking up. And you were absolutely bang on point with that mind game. Look at Foxtrot. <laughs> Conrad Cole is absolutely he's hesitant. So right worried. There. Yeah. <laughs> he's probably shell shocked right now. <laughs> he doesn't know how to deal with those BUs. Uh, KF52 yeah. as well. This is a very interesting deck. <laughs> like all of the most expensive units you can buy. Yeah, <laughs> Just pretty bringing much. them out at the start. This is one way to play for sure. Takes out that Hera. Oh, that L17. Gonna. Get a shot off at the K52. Will it take it down though? Oh, it does. Oh, and another wow. Tunguska goes down. That's actually uh, two beautiful snipes for Comrade Cole right there. Yep. I mean, whenever That's things right. expensive, you get punished very hard when things die. Absolutely. Tunguska takes down another helicopter. Another SU-7B is coming out. It's gonna. Oh, he actually micros the the guns off this time. And lucky for him, the SU-7B missed, but actually that Tunguska was moving with its radar turned off, so it would have missed anyways. A little yeah. war game trick for those of you that aren't aware of that. It's just uh, moving back and covering this MI-17 that's probing a little. It's interesting how much of like a presence this this small push, well, I say it's small, I mean it's a lot of points, but it's just like limited units holding off like almost a swarm else like in comparison. <laughs> Yeah, it's a quality versus quantity situation. <laughs> yeah, but I think um, on the side of Comrade Cole, it's like his half tracks and stuff are maybe just a little bit too expensive to like do a side charge forwards to try and find ground into the into the sectors. Yeah. But that Tunguska finding the kill there is nice. Yeah, he absolutely melted that. The thing is, he knows the BUs are in Delta, so he's kind of hesitant to push forward. I mean, if, if it was like an experienced player, I guess if you spotted two C-72 BUs and two Tungus Grams at the start, you'd realize there's probably nothing else anywhere yeah, else. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice micro again on the Tunguska, getting yeah, that absolutely. radar off. It's being mortared right now, but he should move it. But uh, Comrade Cole actually doing a very good move. He noticed that Bravo was pretty much undefended, so he snatched the initiative there. And now he has a free sector under his control. Yeah, he's just got to get those commands in ASAP, otherwise he's going to fall very far behind on the on the conquest points. Scott. Yeah, keep in mind that the red four player is still taking out a plus three. Yeah. Uh, no joke. He's getting a hell of a lead, and a T64 BV coming in now. Yeah, it's still going... quite an expensive choice. It is, 120 points for that. And there's also BMPT, which is also not the cheapest fire support unit in Foxtrot. Well, we just saw one of the SU-7Bs get shot down by the Tunguska. Yeah, that was nice radar micro for sure. Oh, BMPT. Uh, those proletaries will have the AP yeah. to take it down. Yeah, surely gonna deal with that. Um, yeah. This BVP is gonna be hard hit to hit that uh, Maliutka as well with a 35% yeah, accuracy. Maliutka is trash. <laughs> <laughs> it's like what? 13 AP as well? <laughs> Maybe like, the T55 can do the job. Side armor. Absolutely nothing you can do in that situation. And now it's actually too late to push Fox with what he has in, in there. Yeah, it's interesting how this this really worked. Yeah, I'm absolutely <laughs> amazed. Take take note, pro players. All you need is a UAZ to capture sector. <laughs> Don't need defense. Get that early pick. 
<laughs> uh, we have a MiG-25 BM against an Entente deck, which is basically the worst choice you could do because of all the infrared AA that they get. Yeah, well, there is a Cub in the mid. It might get taken out. Oh, that's out. actually true. Why would you use a Cub in Entente, though? I don't understand. <laughs> that's why we call it a private bag, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Very there interesting is, choices. Yeah, there is the Sava on the way, which is obviously the, the more ideal choice. That thing's a, a beaut. Oh, and that BM actually kills it. Oh, wow. So it wasn't <laughs> a useless purchase after all. I'm, just, I'm absolutely <laughs> amazed right now. <laughs> and this T64 BV is now just trying to do work with its ATGM. Yeah, it's cleaning up. <laughs> this is a, just incredible, like how like they managed to get away with it in Foxtrot. That was pretty insane. Oh no, did you see what the red player just purchased for Bravo? He bought a CV and a BMPT, even though he, he has no idea what's in there. So he kind of assumes that it's uh, open. In before, he like fast moves it all the way down to the top side of Bravo, down that main road. And it goes <laughs> around all of all of the infantry and just parks up in Bravo. <laughs> Basically just confuses opponent, that's the word. <laughs> but it, it most yeah. likely will get sniped by that uh, Purushkumnitsi or whatever. Yeah. They're in a very good spot right now. But it's still a plus three, there's still no commands coming in. And we're, we're, we're getting to the scary point now where it's, yeah, exactly. it's actually going to be a victory. Which would be well, pretty yeah. insane. Comrade Cole has bought an AV whore instead of a command, but I guess that's a decent choice considering he knows there's BUs in Delta. Yeah, he might be able to um, use that to take out the BV in Foxtrot as well quite easily. It all depends on where it's going though. And we finally have, after 12 minutes, uh, 2 point CV. Yeah, and 348 points now. Yeah. Comrade Cole <laughs> has a lot of catching up to do right now. Well, we get the 70% conquest point beep. <laughs> yeah. And look at this UAZ. It's actually, is it actually going where I said it was going to go? I think it's oh, either no going to go through the pad runs. Oh no, it's taking the downward road. Oh. Yeah, it's going to die. Because he bought it for the bottom forest in Bravo. So we're just taking the shortest route there, which is actually yeah. Yeah. through enemy lines. And the pad of Brantsy. Going to be cleaning up BMPT though, maybe be able to deal with that but we have a smirch okay. oh that's baby. what the two fobs are for look at that he's splitting the fire he fired four shots and then retargeted it's as, it's as if he knows yeah. like all of the, the the little niche things that you need to know about all these specific units but just kind of neglected the defense of his uaz's as if it wasn't the most you know basic thing to do <laughs> as if it wasn't the victory condition <laughs> yeah the uaz did die on this top side to the better brownsy eventually did, yeah. the mpt is going to be following suit most likely um <laughs> if it keeps going that way it surely will that's incredible really? on the bv oh, so, lost line mind. of sight there yeah now at 80%, oh my god. Oh, BMPTs, yeah, this, that's just gone. <laughs> that's one health. A waste of points. Ugh, that's disgusting. <laughs> Those shadows are now elite. That's like, it's still a plus one, yeah, we're on 406 points. Oh, how do you lose a game like this you would go back in the replay surely and you'd just be like face farming uh, i would <laughs> uninstall this. like honestly <laughs> i would just quit at that point oh the mig 25 bm's back is he gonna get anything this time there's no I radar there is the anything field. yeah <laughs> i think uh cole has learned his lesson this time around oh su7's coming in tunguska's have a radar turned off there yeah Look at that micro. Oh no, he turned it on oh, prematurely. Yeah. That was, uh. At least he, you know, did the right thing, but at the wrong time. <laughs> the, uh. The big 25 just waving hello as it flies past as well. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> There's nothing to do on the battle. It's very, it's very amusing when, like, you see those two planes, like, go past each other like that and they just ha don't have the armament to engage each other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, and a MiG-31. Not too often you see this point. 
Well, we finally have the command unloaded into Bravo now, so things are gonna be cool for now, but uh, <laughs> Comrade Cole has a, a lot of work to do to make back the 419 points. He absolutely has, but if he only knew what we know, this game would have been over 10 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely. There's Prisco Nisi actually uh, really well placed in yeah, Delft now. Yeah, exactly. He probably should have turned off the armaments to not reveal themselves. But... Oh yeah, because they're going to RPG those yeah. T-72s. But actually it wouldn't have mattered because the uh, exceptional optics spot the, spotted them anyways. Yeah. Instantly go down. And we have a super gallop, but it's too little to... Actually, no, the special Specialinis probably spot that, but the M the MiG-31 might have something to say for that. Oh, he does kill it, <laughs> and the gallop missed. Yeah, it missed shot. both wow. missiles. <laughs> what a turnaround. That is active defense right there for the T-72s. They literally bounced over them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> we have like supply coming on onto this bottom side. He's reloading the T sixty four BVs, aged gems. Yeah, hold that defensive line. Cole's units in the little uh, town area have not moved since the start of the match. Yeah, I'm surprised he's not being a little bit more aggressive here. Yeah, absolutely. And we have another CV purchase for Bravo. Again, absolutely undefended. We have another Gallup. This time the BVs are showing star armor. Surely one of them will go down. Um. We'll just have to yeah, one's see. only on like six yeah. health as well. And it yeah. was actually the the full HP, the one that went down. So that's even worse. <laughs> and now that Padabrance is like one shot away, I think, from finding a kill there. I think he only two because it does three damage to the front armor. And this T seventy two as well with the Tungus going down. It's just that's just there's no AA on this yeah. map anymore. Yeah, absolutely. He's in a really tough spot right now. But maybe the two BMPTs will save him. Maybe we'll have to wait and see. But with the AV core coming onto the front line, it might be a bit uh, hard to do with that. But look at the amount of material Cole has in uh, Alpha. Yeah, there is a lot of stuff here building up. If and he just it's selected just everything. Yeah, if he just selected it all, pressed attack move into Delta, he could win right now. <laughs> all he needs to do. Well, yeah, you could even attack me all the way to Echo. Yeah, pretty <laughs> much. Rate. We have the Smirch firing. Where is it? What? Is it going for the town? That Surely he knows that cluster zone effect infantry, right? He might be targeting the Tatra and the OT tab. Oh yeah, that's cost efficiency right there. <laughs> I think it genuinely is. <laughs> yep, it is. <laughs> well, with two FOBs, it probably is. <laughs> oh my. Oh my and god, it's that's... missing. 150 points on FOBs and another 140 points on a smirch to kill a 5 point transport. <laughs> yeah, it didn't even kill the other one, uh, which is... Yeah, three uh, times more expensive. I'm, I'm, my mind's blown. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? Oh my god. <laughs> he shouldn't stand a chance, but it's just his like, super slow play. Yeah, yeah. He's not probing enough. He should maybe send some transports forward just to see... Like how weak I mean, it, the the front line really is. Even these infantry, like the the Pez, like yeah. these guys, you just split them and just like exactly. charge them forward. One. The yeah, ten exactly. points, the ten point squads. <laughs> oh, we have a three stack of books. Oh, mate, that is where it's at. Yeah, it is <laughs> triple book. Let's go. Out of he got revealed for a second there, but M R twenty four K went back. Now yeah, at least he knows they're there. Yeah. Well, now the Vihor is in a really good spot to get pot shots on that BU, but the BU is at least repaired, so he's got that. Gallop's coming in. Oh yeah, we do, but nothing spotted yet. Do you think this Gallop's just like an absolutely sexy plane? It really is. It makes it so um, cool. people on the forums rage as well. So. <laughs> it's extra fun. Sexy in many ways. Yeah, it does manage to get out alive before that Mig thirty one gets a hold of him. It looks uh, like we is, were wrong yeah. to say about the Pez charging forwards. Probably. <laughs> At least he <laughs> knows where his units are now. Nah, those books are slowly going to get to the field, so the next time that Gallop shows up, he's going to be in for a, a rude surprise. Coming back into the fray. That was actually a very fast uh, refuel time. This is his only yeah, Gallop left. How many left, can so he, he get? Yeah. Get two. Uh -huh. You only get two. Yeah, that's what Ooh, I was thinking. Like, How did he... Lost the first huh? one to a uh, MiG thirty one. Oh, actually, it didn't fire, did it? So yeah, yeah, that's it why it came back in. So yeah, still that was really fast. 
the MPT going oh, well. down. <laughs> the only thing in Delta is two CVs and a BMPT. Yeah, the the the, uh, the ghost defense is yeah. working once again. <laughs> the mind games are real. <laughs> oh my! How would you not realize after killing two CT seventy two BUs, two Tunguskas, yeah, like surely. two BMPTs? <laughs> um, I, I like <laughs> you know, surely he realizes not much left. I mean, clearly he doesn't. <laughs> we got a uh, push coming in on the bottom side there, yeah, slowly. This this lone 64 BV is just MVP this match. Oh, the Vihor might go down to the SU-27 meme. And it does. That thing is just broken. The SU-27 meme. It really is a meme. <laughs> I love like, that uh, name. I don't even know how Eugen made this thing, but... What TV guidance missiles that never miss? <laughs> on a 200-point platform with 50% ECM and... Uh, AA missiles that can just take out anything. Oh, actually, the the BV got shot by the M96 Vidra with a 26 AP. It's actually a pretty good uh, ATGM, but uh, luckily, yeah, supplies right behind it, so you can patch it up as uh, soon as it. I think it was calm just. Again. Um, yeah, I think it was also trading with the the Eagerman, and yeah. it it took a lot of damage from that. Well, the Eagerman can only do one uh, damage at a time, so. The BV wasn't hitting though, that was the main issue. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Another uh, seed plane goes down. And the, the books are, are still alive. Oh, that Sawa got a lucky shot on that SU-27M, but not enough to kill it. Another SU-7B, I think this is the last seed plane he has, so uh, if he kills this one, then he can turn his radars on for the rest of the, get of the game. Not really have to worry about much. MiG-31 coming out on the field once again. Oh, they're back on. And the last seed plane for Comrade Cole goes down. Now he's in trouble. <laughs> These three books are gonna defend for the rest of the game. <laughs> It'd be funny if they're turned off for the rest of the game. Oh, look at this Hera behind enemy lines in Echo. Oh, he's gonna kill the Smirch. He probably is noticing the two FOBs and is like, what is going on? <laughs> he sees the CV, takes it out. Oh, he's got it. Luckily nice. for a uh, red four player, he has another CV lying around in Delta that he can use. <laughs> oh, he almost oh. gets the smirch before the Akula manages to save it. That is luck right there. The Akula save. How many points must have he had, like, stored up to just buy in an Akula? <laughs> just to shoot down the arrow. <laughs> <laughs> must be floating like crazy. Oh, super Galib on the bottom side looking for the T64, I think. Yeah. Those books need to turn on ASAP. Look at that lone BMPT in Delta though, what a boss. He's gonna die by the v -Hor, but still. Actually the Akula might come in and save him because the Sawa is a bit uh, further back and it has the same, actually it has a lower range than the Akula's ATGMs. Yeah. No, actually they have the same, sorry. When the was Vinehor it? The Vinehor is... Uh... Wasn't it 2975? I wouldn't know. <laughs> it's been I'm so long since sure. I played War Game. I'm pretty sure they used to have longer range than that. That uh, Vihor did do the job in the end, and the Akula just, you know, took a break, had a bit of a tea break. Yeah. We uh, finally have a Foxtrot CV from Comrade Cole, so he will be at a plus one as soon as it gets there. Let's see what this Akula manages to do. Misses its first shot. Well, the, pl the plus one. Misses its second shot. <laughs> it had 88% <laughs> accuracy, look at that. Three sh three shots missed with eighty eight with ninety percent accuracy. What is going on? <laughs> oh my god! It's finally killing stuff though. That was infuriating. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we have finally seen it stabilized there. With that guy. <laughs> another CV again. <laughs> this is a classic fire starter level play right here. Just buying CVs for zones you have no hope of defending. <laughs> is that UAZ spotted now? These, yeah. I think these proletarians might be able to see it. Let's check. No, it's oh, uh, no, deep in the quite. town. Can't see it. <laughs> there is quite simply nothing defending Delta right now. Yeah, it's another fog strong. Uh, L17 might actually get a lucky snipe on these helos. Ooh, the Make book. 31 there. The book has something to say about it though. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> Uh, nothing quite like triple books to take down an airplane. That was uh, an absolute overkill. 
No, Cooler staying alive is just fantastic. This this MI24 might end up running out of fuel. That would be amusing. Surely with two <laughs> FOBs, you would resupply them, right? <laughs> You'd think, but uh, maybe fuel. <laughs> he doesn't realize. Yeah. Not his concern. Then the Cooler will get fixed up, though, by the looks of things. Oh, he's landing it on the front line. Actually, is he? Yeah, he is. Wow. Uh, yeah, that, but his impressive. ghost defense will that's will defend it. It's fine. That is really impressive, actually. He had the Euros there just for that. Yeah, forward operating base. <laughs> Wait, is that Pram gonna like? Yeah, it is. It's in line of sight. Oh, he, he can sees see the that. Akula. Oh, yeah. yeah, he does. The Specialini <laughs> spotted. Oh, oh my God. no! No, you have to take off. Do it. <laughs> He's taking you gotta off. Gotta go. Oh, I think he'll make it. I was close. He's stunned, but that's no big deal. That was very close. That last shot probably would have been right on the mark. Yeah, yeah. I, I just, you're all getting out of dodge as well. What is he doing at this point? He bought a decent 2B. Has he actually bought any infantry this whole match? I don't think he bought a single squad of infantry. Maybe he doesn't like infantry, you know? Maybe. Playing uh, armored or something. <laughs> <laughs> Just playing, just playing to what he likes, and yeah. I mean it's not exactly going badly at the moment. Um, although we do see a counter capping CV now in Foxtrot. Yeah. Now a Cole is on the uh, advantage. He only has 16 minutes to make this happen, though. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's going to be enough time. To 62 is he's going to burn those paddles out of there. <laughs> oh my. If the red four player wins this game, I'll just be amazed. Like honestly, <laughs> look at the like map coverage yeah. <laughs> of, of like blue units compared to red. Of units. <laughs> it's just insane. Like the mini map, you wouldn't yeah. think that the red player has any chance of winning. But... <laughs> exactly. <laughs> There's not even like an identifiable front line that you could draw. Yeah, it's like a huge gap between Delta and Foxtrot that can be exploited straight into Echo. Oh my. Yeah, Cole's shortcoming is definitely not probing enough with his units, just to check where the weaknesses are. Yeah, yeah, just like especially when you have a lot of cheap infantry to waste. Yeah, exactly. you can you can just throw it in there and and see what what happens. And that Mi twenty four K literally just ran out of fuel. <laughs> Lucky for him, he has supply trucks nearby, he can send them in. Oh yeah, he's on it, he's on it. He loves his supply. <laughs> Maybe his front line's not stable, but his supply management is on point. Saying that, where are they going? <laughs> uh, they're probably trying to resu resupply the helos. And uh, speaking of infantry, we have the first infantry purchase in the game, 28 minutes in. Uh, BMD3s, I assume those are VDV, because uh, this is the only thing that uh, BMD3s can take. I mean, trust this guy to bring in probably the most expensive infantry combo you can get with the BMDs. If I didn't know any better, I would assume he's making like a bad deck challenge or something like that. <laughs> yeah, the Euros drove to the wrong location. Oh, they, they went did, to the Akula yeah. instead of the MI-24. Uh, it wasn't wrong though, look at that v Oh, come on. No, that was so close, you could have actually taken that out. Peaky kill there by Comrade Cole. Yeah. That uh, cooler though missing again is uh, <laughs> it's quite spectacular. 90%, where should we hit? This, this defense in Foxtrot is just so hilarious. <laughs> just look at it. <laughs> it's just, yeah. Nothing there. I'm just surprised that like no infantry has come into like that forest between Delta and Foxtrot from, from yeah. Comrade Cole. Because normally you see that quite contested, right? Because you can get HGMs in there and like block the spawn into Foxtrot. But like, in this case, he's just had those units there the whole game. <laughs> it's like, like there's surely nowhere else. Out. Yeah, exactly. And these proletarians in the very bottom side, why are they not running into that, that, that sort of building, those buildings down there? I mean, he probably assumes that the town's defended, so can you really blame him? And the TO-62 is doing a fantastic oh, job dislodging those Patabrancis. But uh, likewise, same goes for the Vihor, cleaning that fire support up. I yep. have a smirch, actually. Should be bang on point on the base Vihor. 
Doesn't really seem no, to it's be hitting far over, well. isn't it? I think he's maybe going for a CV snipe. I don't know. Nice. Uh, shooting at the forest. SC27M got lucky there. Mm, three shots missed him. <laughs> we'll live to see another day. Both the TOs went down to the V-holes. Yeah. That oh, was uh... in a really, really good spot. It's hard to dislodge a heavy tank from that uh, area. I mean, if I hadn't played uh, War Game, I'd probably think I've had a Brankies like a, like a sausage and cooked them well. <laughs> 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 That's what he did with those TO62s. <laughs> oh, smirch both on go the down cooks. I like that. He saw where the Kub missiles fired yeah, but from. But why are they yeah. always just far, a little bit too far over? Ah, uh, he got one shot but missed. Oh, uh, base before it goes down. Kava misses. The Kub was panicked, so he's naturally gonna miss. Look at that meme unit. What a joke. <laughs> Lel. L19. <laughs> Misses two shots, miss, hits one shot, but too late. And the box just melted instantly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my, my god. god. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Comrade Cole is still taking at a plus one. Like, if he keeps it up, it's not going to be enough. He needs a CV and Delta ASAP. Yeah, and he could easily, like, I mean, he, he knows about counter capping, right? Because he's done it in Foxtrot. Yeah. He has this Snezka recon in Delta. Like, surely he could just park a command behind that. I mean, he has the Mechanizon and the Proletary so far forward. He surely knows that there's nothing there. <laughs> My god, what a match. What a crazy match. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that uh, Hera is spotting the BV now, but the, the drugs don't really have the AP to penetrate it fully. They're doing basically pot shots at it. He does pull it back, which is gonna allow him to repair it. So that uh, Fox Shot CV is still gonna stay there. <laughs> yeah, it's still not spotted. I think even if that um, the Hera 2 just came down to the bottom side of Fox Shot, I would actually see it because it's, the UAZ is like right on the edge of the trees there. Yeah, yeah. You put it it's the just that, that angle, he's being trolled like really hard. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> The Akula is going to come in and take it down as well. I'm actually surprised he's kept that Akula alive for so long. The ghost defense is intact. <laughs> the mind games are real. Absolutely amazing. Oh, there is a Heritage coming down to the bottom side there. Yeah, but will it get intercepted by the Akula? Okay, I'll wait and see. The Mi 24K did get resupplied though. So, uh, oh, eventually, yeah. It's putting off. those two FOBs to good use. Has he even drained one yet? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to drain one, let alone two in a 1v1 match. That Akula is actually doing uh, decent damage on Fox Shot. L17. Oh, it does kill it. I traded the shot. Like, the, yeah. the Akula hit the L17. It did, but it didn't do much damage. The MiG missed all the shots. Yeah, L17 managed to get out alive. Uh, MI24K is actually doing a really good job in Delta now with cleaning up. I feel like Comrade Cole has kind of lost the initiative. Uh, L19 and Sava do pick up that MiG-31. I think you only get one of those per card, so that's a big loss. And he has another... Wow. Yeah, <laughs> I was wow. going to say another one. Just this two. two. two <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> they need to be careful though. Flying over Sava's is not something you want to do with your planes. I mean, maybe he could do the tactic of running them out of missiles. That might work. <laughs> maybe, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or he's just baiting them so he can smirch them later. <laughs> <laughs> true, true. I'm surprised First we haven't not. seen like a second or even a third smirch at this point. Oh yeah, or maybe a it's not like he needs frontline defense or anything. <laughs> yeah. <absolutely. laughs> oh, the Salva picks up the Mi-24. That's oh. sad. That he After the Mi-24. Stays alive long enough to run out of fuel, gets shot down straight after it gets refueled. Yeah, it's, it usually <laughs> goes in this game. This VMPT should have a decent time cleaning up this proletary, but uh, that Strashlin is actually a really, really good AT launcher. Yeah, it's also oh, they wow. ex extreme wow. rate of fire. It's yeah. just nuts. All right, I stand corrected. <laughs> that was pretty quick. An absolute uh, murder there. Yeah, the 24 AP about 20 round per minute. It's yeah. just nuts. I've been playing a lot of the like Wargamer Dragon campaigns recently, and like 
like rate of fire on those AT launches is just so beautiful when it's twenty round per minute. Yeah. Helps you deal with the AI spam really easily. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Always looking for that in a unit. Okay, there's eight minutes left to this match. And um the current conquest point standing is really, really looking sketchy for Cole. Yeah, I think Cole would lose at this point, I think. Because it was 16 minutes and he was like 70 points right, so he's got like almost 100 points in like at 8 a, minutes. At a plus 1 read, it's certainly not enough. If he counter cap Delta, he could win this easily. If he also denied Foxshot, he could also win. I think a plus 2 would be fine, but a plus 1 certainly not. This is probably like the biggest disparity of units I've ever seen in a war game. <laughs> it really is. Like uh, with without the game ending, like like pretty soon after. He's just thrown oh. away his initiative completely in Delta now. He's allowed. Yeah, and to I think I think he's just been scared well. off it. He's been scared off it by the Mi twenty four. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. And now the BMPT and T sixty four. Actually, they might go down to the Proletary ninety, especially with a side shot like that. Yeah. Look at, the, look at this Thatcher truck just going on like a <laughs> scouting. <laughs> Yeah, scouting mission, yeah. <laughs> cost effective oh, use of a plane right there. <laughs> I mean, in terms of his actual defense, it, it probably was a good idea because he, yeah, he, yeah. He, I don't know, somehow he's managed to keep up the ruse like throughout the entire game just by, <laughs> by killing these little units that would otherwise completely expose that nothing is there. <laughs> oh my god, this is amazing. <laughs> Buying more infantry, but I don't think that's the right call. Like, just buy a CV. Oh, the RM70. Those are clustered. They're right on the books. MiG-31 <laughs> are coming in to shoot down this Hera 2. It's on the smirch again. Oh, it might actually kill the smirch this time around. Yeah, I don't think there's another Akula but, um, to buy in. The RM70 is to salvo with the books and missed everything. And yeah, the smirch did go down. And he's buying a Tunguska M this time. The thing is, the MiG-31s don't have a missile that yeah. can engage helicopters. They have to gun run it, and it's they find it really difficult to get on target because they're flying so fast. Yeah. Oh, and the UAZ is going to go down again. But he, again, has two CVs in Delta, so <laughs> fine. He's moving it in the wrong direction, but... That can just save it? No, it won't. It's Not no big time. deal, though. He has another CV they can move back. He always has a spare. Yeah, he always, literally always has a spare CV. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that was his plan all along. Lose your home sector so you can move a CV back. I also like yep. how he's moving the CV that's further away instead of the one that's closer. It's all about it's all about the ghost defense, man. It really is. You're absolutely right. We have an L15 now, probably going for the 64 BV. It's just mind games, because Comrade Cole's going to be like thinking that, like, oh, he's going to move the furthest away one, but then he actually yeah. didn't, you know? Yeah. Or like, books. or he's not going to move the furthest away one. They killed that L15, and it missed. Look at that, he, he keeps <laughs> queuing up the RM Salvo like two meters behind the book, so they end up missing every missile. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I don't know what it is because it looks like uh, on the red side it's been doing the same. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, with the smirch. With the smirches, yeah. Oh, am I thirty-five? Oh, is it gonna spot the UAZ? It does. Oh, it does. It does. It does. Oh, it gets stunned. Oh, the drug took out the BMPT as well. Oh, he needs uh, SU twenty-seven. Surely gonna clean this up now. He needs another Akula or K fifty-two. Well, the Vimpel can't shoot at the MI thirty-five, can it? No, it can't. He's got to gun run it. Yeah. As long as he keeps it stunned, it's fine. Oh, L19. Oh, but the SU-27 M surely wins this right now. Oh, he turned. Ah, oh, he's going to lose it now. Yeah. Had he just uh, dove straight in, he might have killed it. But the MiG-31s now. <laughs> Will they get him? No, they the miss every shot. MiG-31s seem absolutely useless, don't they? They're, they're completely trash. They used to be good back in Ireland battle, but... Yeah. ...nerfed into oblivion. Yeah, I remember reason, them actually. being decent, but yeah. uh... not decent. They were broken. You would just spawn them in your home sector, and you just do a circle of death, and <laughs> literally not counter them. That's how they how they worked. We finally have a CV for Delta after all this time. So uh, hopefully, Comrade Cole can win this game. <laughs> it looks like Comrade Cole's finally realizes like three minutes and thirty five seconds left on the map, and it's like, oh, I better push now. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it's 264 though. If it takes out this video, it's just gonna be epic. It Can't might. Oh it. no. Oh, it was turned the wrong way yeah, completely. Yeah, it was side armor. And now the Fox Shell TV is gonna go down. Or is uh, it? Yeah, it surely will. Uh, yeah, it's gone. But a plus two, I think it might be enough from this point onward. Especially if he gets the Delta, that would be well, a plus three minutes four. left. I'm yeah. not sure about that. We'll just wait and see. It might it's be coming. a draw. That would be hilarious. That would be actually really funny. <laughs> oh man. We do have a Tunguska in a 72B, so. Although I th th think the base V4 is better. Yeah, it really is. Especially if those Tunguska spearhead, then they'll just get wrecked. Yeah, there's two BVs coming though with the H gems. Yeah, but they're not positioned well. The B4 has oh, side oh, armor. Rip. <laughs> That was a beautiful kill, right there. Oh, weapons jam! Nice Weapon crit, dude. Jam. <laughs> nice crit, dude. Oh wow! All right, those Tunguskas need to save the BVs now. And there we go. The, the glorious Brit takes that wow. down instantly. Wrecked. Yeah, absolutely wrecked. Two minutes left. <laughs> Come on, Cole. You can do this. Don't don't spearhead those Tunguskas. No. What are you doing? Reverse. You're gonna lose one. Oh my god. What the hell is happening, man? <laughs> I lost a Tunguska <laughs> completely unnecessarily. Yep. Wow, what a match. And my sound. Oh, come on, it's finally getting to Delta. Get in there. Come on, Cole, you only have him 1 minute and 40 seconds. This might <laughs> actually be a draw, you're right. Yeah, it's going to be way too close. It's not going to be enough time to get an advantage. Yeah. And I think even if he does, it's like within 10%, right? So yeah, he yeah. would be like, he would need at least 460 odd points to get a victory. Like a yeah, minor victory. Would... What an absolute shit show this match has been. I love it. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> Mind games are their finest. <laughs> it people. really is. <laughs> Intentional, intentional or not, it's just been incredible. It's been an absolute beauty to watch this game. L17 coming in. I don't I know why that's flying Fox right shot, over the Tunguska. I don't even think it's going to get there in time. Wait, what? Uh, What's the L17 going for? <laughs> I don't know. I tried to gun run a Tunguska, but it just <laughs> failed miserably. And you, you were right. It's not going to be enough. Comrade Cole might actually lose this game. <laughs> that is incredible. Uh, I think it's it's, it's going to be a draw, isn't it? But yeah, it's just I don't know. He's going to lose by score, but yeah, it's going to count as a draw. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! The thing is, the red four player now has a complete like advantage in okay, Foxtrot. Okay, okay. I just I just want to put this out. You got to guess how many losses the red side has. Um, because it's going to be pretty crazy. 3,000. I'm going to round it up to 3,000. 3,000? Yeah. Is that all? I'm going to go like 4,000. Okay. Because there is a lot of expensive tanks. Dying. Oh my god, Comrade Cole. Oh my god. <laughs> How oh, was that yeah. a draw? <laughs> I, I'm actually surprised. Okay, oh so 3,300, you, you win that one. But um... <laughs> Yeah, I was close to that. One thing I'm surprised about is the kills. Yeah. The, the, the losses on the side of Comrade Cole is 2,400. <laughs> Way more than he should have lost. Yeah. That's, That's insane. So like I said, it was just keeping up the ruse, like the entire game was yeah, just was an absolute so impressive. Game. Yeah. That was amazing. That was a beautiful display of what Wargame has to offer. <laughs> oh my god, how did he not win that in the first five minutes? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Makes me think I should start playing again. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you definitely should. <laughs> oh my god. Well, uh, thank you guys for watching this episode. As I said, uh, go check out Vulcan's channel in a few days. There'll be another episode going um, up over there. Uh, thanks to my man Solutions for picking the replays this week. So um, give him some love in the comments as well. And we'll see you in the next one. See you later, guys.